Oh, no! Not me messing up my lash. to another video if you are new hi my name is shani thank you so much for clicking to watch this video hey girl hey i'm shani how are you <laughs> in today's video i'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me i'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup i wanted to make it a full get ready with me but i'm not going nowhere and i ain't feel like putting on nothing i just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys and catch up do a life update plan some makeup and do my hair Y'all, I'm really feeling myself. This look came out so good. This video is sponsored though by Her Given Hair and we love that. Another sponsorship. Thank you so much Her Given Hair for sponsoring this video. And I will let you guys know all the details once we get into the video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with my hair. And this video is sponsored by Her Given Hair. So shout out to Her Given Hair for sponsoring another video for your girl. Y'all know I love my clip-ins and... I pretty much only wear the Her Given Hair clip-ins. Anytime you guys see my hair straight or down or curl, I definitely have any clip-ins. And majority of the time, they are from Her Given Hair. That's just tea. I already straightened them out and everything just to not waste any time because I don't want to be sitting here all day. But these are the 20-inch clip-ins. The new ones. This is the new set. Y'all, look at this. And this is the 1B. Like I was saying in the other video, I had the natural color and it was more brown. And my hair, well, in the sun, like it looks, it looks brown, but my hair is pretty dark. So I needed to get a 1B. And that's what I got this time around. And I'm obsessed. And I'm not going to cut these clippings at all. These clippings are specifically going to be when I want long hair. And y'all know I haven't had long hair in a minute. We got the inches back. And my hair is growing. Stop playing with me. <laughs> if y'all even hear me talking about cutting these clippings, tell me no. Okay? Tell me no. Go wear your other ones that you already cut. But yeah, I put these in my hair last night and I was like, I heard giving hair. Y'all did that. So when you buy these clip-ins, you're paying for quality and you're paying for longevity because these are going to last you a long time, okay? Like I said, I've been wearing their clip-ins for four years and the ones that I have currently are two years old. Okay, so let me just go over what I got again. I got the Kinky Blown Out clip-ins in the length 20. The weight is 100 grams. The hair color is 1B. Um, and that's about it. And this is how your clippings are going to look when you get them. Comes with all the information right here. And it will probably come in this little baggie that has her given hair on it. And these are super convenient when you travel. And in one pack of clippings, you're going to get one five clipping weft. You're going to get two four clipping wefts and three three clip-in wefts. So in total, you have three, four, five, six clip-ins. And typically I recommend two packs of clip-ins because it just, it makes it look more full. And sometimes I feel like there's one spot that I need one clip-in in. So I always recommend two packs. So I do have two packs, but today I'm gonna try to use one. So I can show you guys what it looks like with one pack of clip-ins. So let's try to finesse this real quick. <laughs> it's not gonna be super detailed because I already have a detailed video on how I'm clipping my clip-ins. I'll link that video in the cards and I will try to link it down below my description box. All right, so I'm gonna start in the middle with the five clip-in weft because I wanna see how it's gonna be looking. And this is the widest part of my head. So I wanna just go ahead and put this in to see how everything is gonna fall. All right, so I'm gonna start by clipping the middle section down first, lifting my hair up, clipping it down, and just do the same thing with the whole side. Alright, so that's the five clipping left. And 
I think I'm just going to keep going upward and if I need to add more to the bottom section, I'll do that. Now, I'm going to take a four clipping with and put it on this side. end up having to cut them because it just be too long sometimes all right so I'm gonna just take the last two three clip and weft and cut them so it's making a one clip and weft and two two clip and wefts all right so now we have two one clip and wefts and two two clipping webs. And I'm gonna place that one right here. If I keep looking this way, y'all, the mirror is right here. All right, and we have one more four clip in, and I'm probably gonna place this at the bottom. So I don't know if this is going to work though. Hopefully, it does. I just don't think my hair is that wide for the four clip in with, but we're gonna see. I keep looking for these clips, and they're on my robe. Okay. All right, so we're at the back of the head. Now, I'm gonna try to fit this whole thing back here. But I don't think my head is this wide. I don't know, I really don't know if y'all can see. I hope y'all can. Yeah. <laughs> my head is not that wide. Okay, so I'm gonna take it up. Try to part, take it up and clip it up there. Okay, uh, yes, hair. Who is she? All right, so I had to mute the audio because one of my friends called and I was talking to her. But while I was doing that, I just took the front two clip-ins out of my head and straightened them out because I noticed that they still had the zigzag um, crimps in the hair. So I just pressed them out with my flat iron on, I think, 30 degrees I'm not sure that might be like 300 degrees on this flat iron I'm not sure I'm still trying to learn this flat iron is still new to me um, but after I pressed it out I just clipped the clip in back um, where I put it and then with the rest of my hair and the rest of the clip ins that still had the crinkles in it I just went through it and pressed it out I tried not to put too much heat on my hair because I am still natural at this point my hair is damaged so mm, do I really care about the heat damage not too much because I don't wear my natural curl pattern out too often so yeah no if you don't want too much heat damage just stay away from the heat when it comes to like straightening out your hair but um yeah I recommend only putting heat on your hair one time when you straighten it out but I don't take my own advice <laughs> now that I'm done pressing everything out I'm just gonna comb my hair over the clippings to make sure nothing is exposed at the crown of my head and then I'm going to press out my edges and that's pretty much it. Do y'all see this hair? What? Wow. I got my inches back. <laughs> I'm too high. This is the hair, okay? It's the hair. It's the hair for me. Hopefully this is a good angle. All right, so for my brows, I'm going in with the Benefit Brow Gel to do my brows. 
and I'm really I'm working with no desk right now but yeah y'all I just haven't talked to y'all in a minute um there's been a lot of life-changing stuff going on which I'm pretty sure you guys are updated on or if you guys watch my vlogs you guys just y'all know everything that's going on so if you don't watch my vlogs, please watch my vlogs. Um, I'm trying to post them every week and just be more active here on YouTube since, you know, I'm not at my job anymore. I'm still getting adjusted to not having a job right now. And honestly, I don't know if I want to get another job. Maybe it's just time for me to go full time on YouTube which from the outside looking in it makes sense for me to go full-time on youtube but financially it doesn't make sense for me to go full-time on youtube because it's i don't know with youtube it always makes me nervous because okay for one i never considered myself a full-time youtuber i never considered this like a career even though i wanted it to be because I just wasn't pulling in the income for me to live off of YouTube. So doing YouTube full time is kind of, it's very stressful for one. One, because of the workload. And then I don't know how much money I'm making every month. Oop. Oop. No, I just bought this robe. And every month is not the same every month i'm not going to make the same amount of money and i'm coming from making the same amount every single week knowing how much i'm going to make every single week let's just say i was very comfortable i knew what i was making i was okay well i wasn't really okay with what i was making but i was used to it you know what i'm saying I, and i was comfortable with it and for the first time i felt like oh okay i think i'm doing this adult thing right and then COVID hit and it just kind of flipped everything upside down and I just had to figure everything out. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure everything out. I don't know if I want to go back to school. I don't know if I'm going to stay consistent and, you know, be full time with YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to move. I do want to move because I feel like living in North Carolina is not doing anything for my career. So I will have to wait and save up, of course. Um, it's just a lot of things that I'm just asking. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I kind of feel like I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Or I think I need to pray for more discernment and clarity because right now I'm just all over the place, which I feel like is normal because everything is literally different i've been living at the same place for my whole life basically and i'm at a new apartment i'm paying bills now i have rent to pay um i have my savings but <laughs> the savings is gone <laughs> because i haven't been at work for a whole year but now i'm just like rebuilding everything and it's just i don't even know if i'm keeping all this in here because it's kind of like too much information but I feel like some of you guys need to like, just, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people don't see what you go through. They just see the after and the glitz and the glam. But I'm, I'm going through it and you guys are literally watching me go through it. It's very nerve wracking. And it's very hard for me to like compartmentalize and not bring my personal life onto my channel but i feel like you guys can kind of tell if i'm not having a good day so it's just doing youtube and going through stuff at the same time is kind of hard and of course you guys don't know majority of the stuff that i go through but you guys know a good amount of stuff that i go through because i'm sharing it but girl i'm just trying to figure it out I really am which brings me to another reason why I decided to start vlogging because I feel like a lot of you guys or some of you guys just put youtubers or just anybody that does social media I don't want you guys to put me on a pedestal because I'm regular I'm real regular I be telling y'all this all the time I'm I'm regular the only difference is that I do YouTube 
and you guys watch me that's the only difference i don't even know like how to articulate myself this, this is why i don't like doing chit chat get ready with me especially talking about my life it's definitely flattering but it's also nerve-wracking at the same time because i feel like i can't make any mistake you know and even with like doing youtube and everything <clears throat> i feel like that's what's hard about doing youtube because you're on youtube you're going through your life and your people are watching you and you kind of have to go through stuff in front of an audience you have to go through stuff in your personal life and then you have to go through it again once you post it on social media which is why i always have the back and forth thing about sharing my life and not sharing too much i never want to be overexposed but yeah y'all that's that's my little spill it's just life can just be very stressful at times but I'm happy that I'm in like, I'm doing good like mentally because in December, I went through some sort of depression because I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of the bed. This was like three solid weeks of me just not doing anything. Literally not doing anything but waking up. I would wake up, I would write in my journal, I would, which helped. I would do my devotionals, talk to God. Um, and I think that's kind of what brought me through it. But when I was in it, I didn't notice that I was in, I don't even want to call it a dark place because I feel like I needed to go through it. I don't know y'all. But like now looking back on it, I could be like, oh yeah, I was struggling a little bit. In the past, when I would go through stuff, it was very easy for me to not bring it on my channel because my channel was mainly just makeup and tutorials and reviews and i didn't really do vlogs and i didn't really talk about my life like this i didn't really do get ready with me's like that so it was very easy for me to not bring it here but now since i'm sharing my life it is i don't know now it's just harder point blank period is it's i can't get around not letting you guys into what's going on with me and then i feel like i'm doing a disservice if i don't really tell you guys what what's up you know what i'm saying because some of you guys are younger some of you guys are older some you know in general you guys may need to know what to do if you go through something like this and hopefully this helps somebody hopefully it helps me i don't know y'all can hear my nephew i apologize if he's distracting but my life <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna do this lash i don't remember the name of these lashes but i will link them down below amanda dizzle on instagram put me on to these lashes well not these lashes but she collabed with um this lash brand and created her own lash and then i was just hooked on the site and started ordering more lashes <laughs> So that's where these came from. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna put eyeshadow on or not. All right, now I'm just taking the Fenty concealer and putting it on my eyelids, just to brighten up my eyelids a little bit. And just pressing it out with this E4 brush, no, E3 brush from Morphe. I'm actually surprised that I put concealer on my eyelids because my allergies were on 10 yesterday and i'm really not trying to irritate my eyes any more than they're already irritated they're actually burning right now but i want to do a little something song for y'all <laughs> a little something now i'm just going to go in and set it with the sasha buttercup setting powder this was supposed to be a I wanted to try a new foundation in this video. I wanted to try the Kat Von D KVD foundation that they just came out with or that I'm just now seeing popping up on my recommended page. I haven't watched any of the videos popping up on my recommendation page because I knew I wanted to do a review and I don't want my opinion to be swayed unintentionally because I watched somebody else's video. So. Um, I don't know much about the foundation. I know it's by KVD. I thought it was Kat Von D, but I don't think the brand is associated with Kat Von D. I don't know. 
but I bought the foundation thinking I was gonna finesse it and get some use out of it but y'all this <laughs> is too deep for me this is a beautiful color and I really appreciate them for having a darker color like this this is deeper than my contour shape I'm gonna take this color from the MAC flame buoyant palette that I think is discontinued but don't quote me on that I'm just putting some eyeshadow in my crease so it doesn't look too concealer y. If y'all get what I'm saying. Because I'm literally just about to put lashes on and call it a day, a night. This is the lash glue that I am using. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's from Duo Glue. This is the Quick Set Lash Adhesive, the only lash glue that I use. bit of shimmer on the eyes and deepened up my outer corner just y'all know me now I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty um, soft matte pro filter primer this right here and put this all over Oop. No, I'm not. I really need to figure out um, a setup because <laughs> I feel like the setup is not working. I wanted to film right here again because I like the flowers in the background. But I need to figure it out. My skin looks really good. It's very shiny because I put a lot of moisturizer on. I filmed a reel for um, a skincare reel for my Instagram. I don't know what I'm going to post it, but I filmed it today and I'm just like, yes, I actually filmed two while well, I'm in the process of finishing the second one or the first one. I'm just trying to put out more content for you guys and let you guys know that I'm back and trying to be consistent. <laughs> for foundation I'm using color Tiramisu, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm highlighting my under eyes with the same concealer that I did my brows with. This is the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 445, and I really need to go makeup shopping because I'm running out of everything. I still basically do my makeup the same. <laughs> Ain't nothing really changed. Alright, I'm just gonna blend this out. And then I'll probably go in with a lighter concealer. Now I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC50. Brighten up under. We'll brighten a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna let that sit a little bit and I'm going to put on the contour. This is the KVD foundation and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or take it back but I really don't like returning products like that because for one I'd be thinking about 
where is it gonna go is it gonna go is it gonna be recycled and then I should be like I can just keep it for myself or I can sanitize it and put it in my kit so it gets used you know I don't know I just sometimes I just don't be wanting to waste product but I'm going very 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 light-handed with this because it's very deep it's the same color as my neck I don't really have too much to say on this foundation I have to get one that actually matches my skin and then I'll be able to like I guess give you guys a review but right now I'm just using it as a contour because it's, it's here so might as well use it until I make up my mind if I'm going to take it back or not but we're sculpted now I'm just going to blend this out But so far, I mean, I really like the color. I really like the undertone of it. Um, and I like the fact that they have colors this deep or they went this deep with their color range. Um, I do feel like there is some in-between colors that need to be added in there, but it's a good starting point. I can't really say anything on the coverage of it because I mean I'm just using it as a contour but I mean I guess it looks good y'all let me know so I know I have rambled a lot about my life let me know what you guys have been up to let me know what you guys like to do for fun um I know a lot of you guys are new but a lot of you guys are all you, a lot of you guys have been here for a minute too but you know, I just want to get to know y'all a little bit more. So, like, what do you like to do for fun? Um, do you have a corporate job? Do you work at the mall? Are you an entrepreneur? Do you have your own business? Let me know. Introduce yourself to me. Because <laughs> y'all know me a little bit. <laughs> But I don't really know y'all like that. There's a, oh, I never announced the giveaway winner. So when I was doing my moving vlog, I told you guys to be in me on Instagram. And I never picked the giveaway winner because girl stuff got real. So I had to like put that on the back burner. But I do have a giveaway winner and I will add her in my description box down below. There's definitely going to be more giveaways and the giveaways are never really going to be announced. You just have to be a watcher to know when I do giveaways. And you have to be following me on Instagram because I'll probably start doing it on Instagram as well. But yeah, you just have to be an active viewer to know about the giveaways or you will miss out every time. All right, so I'm gonna set my contour. And I'm taking a lighter Too Faced powder and cocoa to set the rest of my face. And blend out these harsh lines. I just stopped talking. <laughs> I'll make sure I'll link everything I used in my description box and all of the colors. So if you guys are interested in anything I used, make sure you look at the description box because I literally try to link everything. I will link these. Actually, these are in my Amazon store. So I'll link that down below. The robe, I'm gonna link everything down below. This is from Amazon as well. I'll link it in my Amazon store. Mmm, cute. Okay, I'm not done yet. I'm taking Penny For You Thoughts. And I'm kind of like, this is kind of like blush and a highlight. Oh. It looks so wow, wow, wow. It has to be my skincare. It has to be. Because these products are laying flawlessly on my skin. 
Wow. Okay. 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 Let me show. Daddy Kill. And then I'm going to take LeBron's and add that on top. I know I've been using the same products for years now, but they work. Why buy new products when the products that you already have work? Because, Shani, you're a YouTuber and you gotta try new stuff. <laughs> so we know what to buy. Girl, I'm telling you what to buy. This is, this is buy this. Actually, no, it's not available no more. I don't think it's available no more. So yeah, I definitely need to try new products that you guys can actually get your hands on. Let me that. When I do this face, that's how you know I'm feeling it. Wow. Oh. Put a little bit of Abu Dhabi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I for real gotta try new products. I know you guys are probably like, bro, do one more video <laughs> with Abu Dhabi. One more. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do a little light liner with this bronzer. using anything oh no not me messing up my lash that I haven't even been able to wear yet pause I'm tripping okay and then I'm just gonna dust my bottom lash line with whatever is left on this blending brush because I don't like it to look super bare down here so basically the orange and the brown color just taking it down there and then running it across just like that nothing too serious you guys probably can't even tell I did anything y'all let's just take a moment what was said what was said oh she been gave me away but I'm still cute though stop playing with me <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah. With these clip-ins, her giving hair did that. Wow. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I did put a bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. That's about it. I put on some jewelry. I got these from Amazon. I'll link them down below. This is from Nye McFly on Instagram. Her um, accessory business, I'll link this down below. This necklace is from N Jewelers, M Jewelers, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is from Zara. Y'all know I always have to wear something black. So um, I didn't really put on a fit. This is not a full get ready with me, but tomorrow, well, when I film tomorrow, y'all probably see that video next week. But tomorrow, if I do get to film, I'm gonna try to make it a full get ready with me because this was fun getting to sit down and talk to you guys even though I was rambling about life, my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it, hopefully. If y'all are going through something or if y'all have any advice for me, because I don't know everything and I be needing advice, okay? Let's just make this an open discussion. If you have any advice, if you have any things that you're going through, if you have any topics for me to talk about in my next chit chat, get ready with me, leave that down below as well because I be needing some topics to talk about. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because, you know, I'm trying to be more active. I just told y'all I'm going full time with YouTube and social media, so I'm, I'm trying. This train doesn't keep going without you guys, so I really appreciate you guys that come back every single week and watch my videos and tune in and comment and follow me on Instagram and follow me on my other Instagrams like my fitness Instagram and my makeup Instagram, my photography Instagram. If you guys follow all of those Instagrams, they will be down below if you don't know about them. But 
I appreciate you guys for doing that because those are a lot of Instagrams. Thank you so much, Her Given Hair, for working with me on another video. I really appreciate it. So make sure you guys check out the links down below to these clippings if you guys are interested. Everything will be down below. Everything that I have on, I'll link everything down below. If you have any questions and I didn't link something, just let me know in the comment section and I'll update the description box. My face will be right here to subscribe and another video will be popping up on the screen. So if you haven't already watched this one, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think. And yeah, okay, I'm done. I'll see you guys in my next video.